Yellow, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Molly Santini and today's video is about how to get your driver's permit. So this is how to get your permit at 15 years old in Florida. Whatever I'm going to say in this video is specific to Florida. Different states have different laws, they have different age requirements, and this is what I had to do as a 15 year old in Florida. So to start off today's video, the video is going to be in three parts. The first part is what you legally need and everything that you need to do to get your permit. The second part is how you can get your permit, courses online, some things that I tried out, some things that I liked, some things that I didn't. And the third part is tips and things that I wish I knew before doing all of this. The first part is things that you need to do, right? So first, to get your permit, you need to take an alcohol and drug abuse course and you need to pass the road signs test which is you know the exam the course is an actual course you can do that either at like an in-person driver's ed class or you can do it online i did it online i found it so much better and i actually did it through two different sites for the course you don't need to be 15 to start the course but the exam you can do that at like 14 and a half 14 and three quarters because it still counts either on your birthday or as long as after that however you want but for the driver's license at 16 you do need to have had your permit for at least six months but just you know don't take a long time because if you do take a long time you don't have enough hours driving and then you can't get your license at 16 and drive alone at 15 what you can do is you can drive with a legal guardian or someone over 21 with a license so you can drive on normal roads you can't drive on highways until three months after you've gotten your permit and you can't drive after it gets dark to how you can get the permit so i did my course online so the first course that i started um it was really bad because basically what they would do is it would be like these very long pages of just writing they would have a lot of trick questions like you would read and there would be like pictures of it would be literally random pictures of like for example cars and then on the little quiz that it would take after every page it would be like what color was the car and i wasn't really paying attention on the color of the card i was more you know paying attention on the information so that kind of like I, I always had to be paranoid about the pictures and that definitely took my focus from you know the actual stuff so then i figured out the course of national highway safety administration i'll put their logo and the link will be down below so on the website you pay for what you need but i paid for the package which was the course drugs and the drugs and alcohol course the exam and practice test so it was like all that you really need to do so that was good because all that i needed was already on the website i didn't have to go look anywhere else and their website was really good because along from writing you know along from like you having to read it they also had some videos of you know actual life stuff that happened and stuff it was easy to follow along there were no trick questions which i liked because i mean i was reading i didn't want to have to prove to people that I was reading because I was reading and in the little quizzes like I, I was already proving there that I was reading what also helped was you could always listen to what was written because they had this extra feature that like you didn't have to pay extra for it or anything they could listen to what they were saying that helped me a lot because I would l put it to play so I could listen to it and then I would read and that that held me on focus so that really helped a lot I did the whole course in one day it is a bit extreme that I did it in one day, but you can do it in one day. That's what I'm basically saying. So that's why I think that an online course is better than going to a place and doing the drugs course because that takes several hours and it depends on the teacher and depends on other students in your class. Whereas this one, you can do it by yourself. You can do it in a few hours. I started right after school, so I started at 3 and I ended at like 9.20. And in the end, you do have to take a little quiz, but the quiz is simple. I'll try to find how many questions there was in the quiz. And the quiz wasn't hard. Like I was easily able to, you know, remember the data. So now the actual permit, test, exam, the thing that you have to do. The exam is 50 questions. You, you can do it on the website that I did, the National Highway Safety Administration website. I found it better to take it at my house, on my computer, than at the DMV because, you know, the DMV is full of lines and it's just really stressful there. For the exam, there is no course that you follow. So I fr first, I found that the course was actually easier than the exam because the course, there's some kind of questions to like help that are kind of gonna be in the quiz and there's videos about it. So that was like easy, you know, it was, it did take a bunch of hours, but it was easy to go through. The exam, you have to actually read the handbook. You have to read the whole handbook. 
Um, so I was kind of like on my own there, you know, there was like no really guidance. You just read it and then you take the quiz on it. On the website, they give you a link to the book. So I didn't, I never actually had the book. I just had an online version of it, which I did not have to pay for the online version, by the way. But what I did was I just searched up on YouTube the audiobook for the specific book because there's, I think there's two handbooks that you can use. There, it was like the audio version of it. So as I was reading it, I was also listening to it. There are some parts which are like, you know, the road signs, which you can't really listen to, but the audio also helped me like a lot for me to stay on track. Like while I was reading the handbook, I took so many notes, which helped me remember things like specific things about the actual practice test and exam. Everyone tells you the practice test is nothing like the exam. They're right. It was nothing like the practice test because the practice test had like, it had a fairly easy information. The quiz is harder. So the quiz, you have an hour, you have an hour for the whole quiz. It is 50 questions. To pass, you can get 40 out of 50, which is an 80%. And while you're taking it, you can't go back to questions. You go to a question, you go to the next question, you can't go back. So after you click next question, it tells you like if you got it wrong. It doesn't tell you if you got it right, but it tells you if you got it wrong. But you know, if you don't get it wrong, you got it right. And you have 10 wrongs. You know those like video games that it shows you like you have three lives? Basically it's like that. So if you get one wrong, it just counts nine questions left that you can get wrong in the end my 49th question i got that wrong so my last question i had to get it right because i used up all of my 10 wrong questions but i did get it right the last one the last one was the alcohol if it was a depressant or if it wasn't a depressant taking the course helped a lot with the exam so i definitely advise that you do the course first and then the exam because the exam has some stuff about alcohol after you've done the course and the exam you need to bring a certificate of that you finished the course. The website already makes a, like a certificate for it. They made it super easy. Like I didn't have to research anything extra on that. But you need to print that. And then the actual exam, the test, after you've passed it, they automatically send it to the DMV. Like you don't need to print anything for that. And I'll put on the screen right now what they sent me as an email that I need to bring to the actual DMV. For the proof of your address, you can bring your report card, that's what I did, but it was super easy. And now on tips, on the website that I told you guys about, there is like a chat thing. That is so helpful. Like there would be so many questions that I would ask and they would answer in like five seconds. Like it was really quick and it does not matter the time because you know, as I told you guys, I finished the both like the course and reading the handbook at like really late at night, like 9, 10. And then I took the exam. Probably not a very good idea, but I did it anyway and it worked for me. And if I had like a question before the exam, I like typed and they answered really quickly. They helped me, they definitely helped me, you know, feel more secure about that I was doing the right thing. Schedule your appointment for the DMV like a month in advance. Because I did it all in two days, right? I finished it and then I was I logged in to like schedule the appointment. I was like, oh tomorrow's a Friday, let's just go tomorrow. And it was like the only appointment that they had available was in a month. So after I, I, after I did everything in two days, after I rushed it, I could only get it in a month after. So before you even take the course and take the test, log in and just make an appointment. Because to make an appointment, you don't need to prove anything. You can just go to the Florida website. Hi guys, so while I was editing this video, the rules actually changed for July 1st. So yeah, good luck with that. I wish I had walk-ins. Another thing is for your picture, the shirt that you wear doesn't actually show in the picture. So I was super stressed because I had to find a shirt that, you know, was appropriate and that was the right color. It doesn't even show in the picture. You don't have to read about that. So that's my video on how to get your permit at 15, in Florida at least, because that's where I live. You want to say hi to the video? So Lily's here. Want to say hi? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And let me know if you guys want to vlog because I did kind of film some snippets of the DMV. And if you guys are interested in that, make sure to comment down below. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for when that vlog of the DMV comes out, you'll be notified. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys! Okay.